Hello friend. Um, today I want to talk about E1B haplotype. Uh, these are divided by two groups E1, B1A. It is a West African Bantu population and uh, Niger Congolese speaking tribes from Sub Sahara Africa. On the other hand, E1B1B is the uh, most influential haplogroup in Somalia, also with Egypt, Nile Valley into uh, North Africa and the eastern part of Africa, E1B1B. And sometimes they refer to call themselves Afro Asiatic. Uh, they are coming from both uh, E1B uh, as the um, uh, same tribe as uh, one group. And um, um, interesting part is the uh, E1B, one b one b is the majority of second largest Jewish haplotype including Albert Einstein is coming from E1B1B. But uh, there is no um, um, E1B1A group as a, as a Jewish haplotype in, 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 a, in a E1B1A. So uh, there are the movement, it is called a the Black Hebrew Israelite, or the, the um, African Hebrew Israelite. The most of uh, uh, people from E1B1A are the descendants from the West Africans and and to the south, to the East African uh, Bantu population of groups. Um, this is what I feel. I'm not part of an E1B group, okay, but I have advice for you. Uh, since the, um, um, if there is a dispute between E1B1B and a E1B1A, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be happen to E1B1A because I heard, um, Black Hebrew Israelite say E1B1A belongs to Israel, but E1B1B is a descendant of Esau. Actually, there are Jewish population in Israel is a E1B1B. It is about uh, 30, 35 percent of the populations in Israel. Uh, after J1, J2, haplogroup. So, um, um, you know, the root of uh, uh, E1B, 1B is not close to J1. And um, most influential rabbinic haplogroup is J1, is about uh, above 90% of Ashkenazim, Sephardim, and Mizrahim are all coming, coming from uh, rabbis are from J1. So that uh, uh, aspect of uh, which tribe is Semitic, and one third of a population, of a Jewish population, is the sons of Shem. If this is a reading that the uh, accurate, that there are the several different groups in the Jewish population coming from different um, background in paternal line. Yet maternal line uh, frequently uh, changes through the uh, marriage, and um, paternal line is only. Uh, passing down from father to the sons, to generations. Uh, some would, would, would say 
it's only just one percent but uh, this is going to be forever if you have a children uh, sons and then you will they will be inherited the um, haplotype where your paternal line is so that uh, uh, maternal line the mitochondria DNA mother side is um, uh, your grandmother and then your mother and your wife all comes from different maternal lineage by uh, ethnic uh, race or the, the, the way you are coming from but all coming from maternal line and sometimes that the Jewish Jewish happens to be Jewish law in Israel today not by the biblical but if your mother is Jewish you consider him to be a Jew but if your father is Jewish your mother's side is not uh, wouldn't be considered as you are Jewish so that only considering from mother's side from a mitochondria DNA um, this would happen to tell you that the E1B group cannot be a Jewishness from a paternal lineage but through mitochondria DNA maternal line through that uh, uh, they are being married with a, with a, a Semitic lineage with the um, uh, a Jewish woman then the maternal line will be a Jew um, so that is uh, something that we lead in in a haplo group today okay so think about it and uh, this is my topic today thank you very much and shalom